So problem J uh, is called pollution, pollution solution. I honestly don't know what the color of the balloon is, but I'm pretty sure someone will hear this and, and find out while I'm explaining. It is pink. It's pink. Which pink. is why you selected that color on the screen, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> let's, pretend, let's, <laughs> let's pretend so. Uh, so this is about a uh, natural disaster, or a disaster that happens somewhere along the shoreline. And we have this polluted area which spreads in the water. And, and we assume that it spreads as a con at a constant rate. So we have a polluted semi-circle here, which, which is kind of, uh, I mean, you shouldn't ha have a bath there at the moment. Uh, it has a, a given radius, and there is also a sensitive area that we don't really want to get polluted. So the, the task of this problem is to, to write a program that, uh, that calculates the, the area of the polluted uh, sensitive ecosystem. So radius is given. We're also given the the vertices of all of all the corners of this polygon. Uh, so this is basically comp computational geometry. Uh, one good thing to know when you solve solve this problem is of, is of course uh, how to intersect a circle with a polygon, and that's a kind of tricky problem. So it gets you can make it simpler by by dividing this polygon into tr triangles and, and intersect a triangle with a circle. And of course, I, I guess you could do a proper tri triangulation of this polygon, but that's kind of tricky. So an easier way would be to start w at the center of the, of the pollution and, and just create triangles from there. So here we have one, one triangular area. So you intersect this triangle with with the semicircle, uh, and then then you go on to to the next triangle, which is this one, and and intersect, calculate that area, uh, go on this this area from b b uh, and so on, and and last of all, you remove uh, this triangle, so that will give you a full full area. Uh, uh, no. Of, of course, you need to know whether to add that particular area or subtract, subtract it, and, and that is decided based on the, on the, on the orientation, whether the triangle is, is clockwise or counterclockwise. So that's a, now we've seen the wrong sign. Uh, we've si seen some issues with, with simply using, not using enough precision in the calculations. That's pretty, pretty common. But this is considered being an easy problem, uh, although some teams struggles will, struggle with getting the mathematics Right, so they usually solve it after a while. Well, computational geometry is never easy. Yeah, and it's quite often that you see it in the world finals. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I don't know why the judges don't like us. Um, yeah, uh, in this one we see 24 solved. Uh, 24 teams have solved it uh, on 76 submissions.